I can remember them all right, but I don't think I've ever had a one of these uh, click moments. But you know, who knows? I might have one tomorrow. I think that's what that's what the film is also saying. You know, it can happen to anybody, anywhere, anytime. And actually, we're all romantics at heart, I think. So I'm keep hoping. What I was very um, taken with straight away was Old's enthusiasm. I've never seen a happier director on the set. He told me to lie about him, actually, but this isn't a lie, this is real. Um, he's, he, and his enthusiasm and passion for his work is terribly infectious. And I think it's one of the happiest atmospheres I've ever walked into. I've, they've been going for about a week and I've just joined. Um, but it's his love of it that is um, spilling over to all of us, I think. And he's got a wonderful sense of humour and he's written it and I guess it's quite near his life, which always makes for a good story anyway. I think um, Anthony Head is extremely handsome. So an awful lot of the lines and criticisms I have of him seem absolutely ludicrous really, because I'm always complaining about his suit or what he does or that he doesn't think he's attractive. So it's a bit mad, but actually I think that's rather clever because you've got to have some hope for these two, um, Tessa and Ned at the end. I, don't, I think if uh, we were just sort of non-hopers without a future, it would be rather a shame, but I think they have a really groovy time at the end. I hope that people won't say of this film, it's like anything else. Because I get rather tired of people trying to say, oh, this film's a bit like that film. What's earth the point of that? It's a shame that people want to, you know, act as to be like somebody else. And, and I think this is wonderfully original, and I hope people say, oh, yes, no, it's not like anything else. That's what I thought when I read it, and I think that's what I hope for.